Wish you could see that play ahead in my dream. I'm for the city of the P, so I serve that heat. Ain't no stopping. A thug with a vision of a casino. Stash the kilo and got busy on this deal. For real, we them thugs for the life I'm told. We let it unfold and let my ball point hit your soul. Fuck the chrome, internally stop the flows. Y'all niggas know how I roll when it comes to gang shows. I used to be in that block more than neighborhood watch. Before I made the fiend smile, I'm selling that rock. You know this shit won't stop on that chat jump block. It was the pack town thing with this hot ass block. And I hit the scene with my murder team. I swear to God, dog, I got the best of my enemies. Spoon Katrabi, who is a man, is a good end. Da, Zakativa Zile. Fuck, they don't know in the hell. Priatene, Vom Lassa Banis, the information is here.
OTHD, other than honorable discharge. As I remember, that's one step above a bad conduct discharge. Well, it's two steps above dishonorable. It's not a dishonorable discharge, sir. I know. PFC Leiden was in many ways a model soldier. She displayed bravery, integrity, and tremendous loyalty to her fellow soldiers on the battlefield. However, her political views negatively affected morality and motivation among members of her platoon. Sounds to me like you have a problem with authority figures. No, sir. I don't want any trouble here, understand? You're choosing to wear that uniform. By doing so, you are bound by the ethics and purpose of this institution. Understood? I've got a new state law mandating a minimum percentage of female deputies. I'm willing to give you a fair shot. All right? Yes, sir. Our mandate here is to rehabilitate prisoners so they can re-enter society. Perhaps that would be a opportunity for you to do a little work on yourself as well. We have two responsibilities. That the prisoners stay locked up, and regardless of what they've done, they get treated humanely. Uh, sir, you don't have I'll to I'll give you the same benefit I give the prisoners. What happened on the outside doesn't matter. How you act in here is what matters. Eddie, show her around, then take her down to processing. We have an inbound. Some crazy vagrant who doesn't speak any English. Whatever, come on, I'll show you around. This is the portal. Andrews! This little man trap is an airlock between the prison area and the guards area. You can get in with your key, but you can't get back out. You have to have a prison guard on the outside buzz you out. Now, these doors, you're supposed to have one door closed before the other one opens, but the servo on this one's been broken for about a year, so just be careful. Wow, this place sure has that Martha Stewart abandoned factory feel. Yeah, this place used to be the old county drug tank. Just kept adding on and adding on until you end up with this place, you know? Now, as soon as they finish the other ward, we're gonna move these prisoners over there and this place will probably be a cornfield. Good damn riddance. And Jimmy here just got through withdrawal again. He's working on putting a smile on that pretty face of his. Ain't that right, Jimmy? So what about him? Oh, uh, Pedro? Pedro doesn't talk. At all? Well, he'll be having lunch and he'll say, pass the ketchup, and then you won't hear from him for about two months. Yeah, most of these guys, they're nonviolent offenders, but they're either problematic or mentally unstable, so <laughs> we try and keep them separate from the rest of the prisoners. Oh my God. Is that little Miss Pissy Pants? Riggs, what are you doing in here? A three to five, hopefully some time off for good behavior. But look at you, all grown up. Very, <laughs> very grown up. And you're a prison guard. Well, I'm trying to be a deputy. Do my time, get out on field patrol. I know you enlisted to get out, get out of that shithole foster home, but the sheriff's department? You'd be surprised, Riggs. Wearing a uniform comes a lot easier than you think. I can see that, man. <laughs> so why aren't you at the big house at RFDC? Oh, I'd rather be over here with the cartoon characters than with the gang members. See, Riggs was in the foster system a few years ahead of me. It's kind of like a big brother. He took care of me. Yo, sister, <laughs> you need some taking care of? I got some taking care for you right here. What the fuck? Hey, don't ever talk to it like that. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Come on, let's go. I'll see you later, Riggs. Yeah, Riggs is all right. He kind of watches after this block. Now, we do have a couple live ones that we keep locked up, like Leonard Johnson. Not too smart, but he's really strong like an ox. He actually hurts people and doesn't even realize it. Wow, that's sad. Never, never feel sorry for these guys, all right? That's when you make a mistake. You get to thinking, oh, this guy's all right, I just leave this tray out, or I'll just leave this propped against the door. Yeah, that's what gets a prison guard killed. All right, you got that? 
Then there's meals, visits, and court dates. That's all day shift. Here at the night shift, all we have to worry about is keeping awake. Now come on, let's go see about that inbound. Hey Sam, what do we got? Picked him up outside the Minute Mart, man. He was out there harassing customers, spitting on them, parking. <laughs> but here's the good part. No English, no ID. All he has is a pair of pants and this here envelope. Jesus, how much is this? $9,970. Hey, that shaded area it looks familiar. That's yeah, the city limits. Hey, what language is this? <laughs> what do I look like, a university professor, man? Look, I'll put him in lockup. You can thank me for that later. Right now, there's a crime underway. And a hot cup of coffee that needs to get drank before I do anything about it. <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all later, all right? All right, let's go get this guy. Rise and shine, sunshine! Another freaking head case. All right, Fabio, let's go. Let's take you to your cell. Hands out, right here. Hands out. This is your cell. No English. This is your cell. Yo, Tom, what's up with the mumbling cracker? He one of yours? It's not Arabic. I'd say some Slavic language. Slavic? Europe? Oh, gotcha. Brother, <laughs> you need to stop sweating others. That's not worrying about your original black Asian self. <laughs> See, the white man feeds you his garbage. You pay him your money. Get loans for more. <laughs> steal drugs, sell drugs, steal, gobble down his poison and say, please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> Yo, Mo, you need to, like, change the channel. I'm sick of listening to this one. And that cracker over there need to turn down the volume. <laughs> Yo, what's up with Sleepy? Don't. Don't what? Don't mess with him. He's a witness for the feds. He'll be gone before you know it. No shit. The feds? Maybe he can hook a brother up with the real players. <laughs> Why don't you come out and hang with the gang? What? You don't like black folks? Oh, man. Screw you, dog. <laughs> Just talking to you, that's all. I don't want to talk with you. I want to hang with you. Now go. Man, you some freaking kind of neo ruski Nazi freak or something? You know nothing about Nazi. Or Russia. I am Russian Romanian. Go back to your cars and drugs and pimps and hoes and leave me alone. Man, you some kind of terrorist or some shit. Would even your government lock me in fucking shitbox jail with a bunch of losers if I was terrorist? No. I'm caught smuggling shit for Russian mob just. Another loser like you. You calling me a loser? Ha! Luke! Huh? 
We are winners, maybe. Who you calling a loser? You, the scum licking loser. I'll let loose on your ass. You want to die? Huh? Go into the great unknown? Go from what little you are to nothing? You leave Tyrese alone, he'll leave you alone. Ain't that right, dumbass? Okie dokie, big man. Seems to cut your hand on the best springs. Yes. How careless of me. You two get back to your own shit. Have Tattoo spoken to anyone? Tattoo? Of what do you speak? Some foreigner. Looks like you, but crazy-ass tattoos. It'll get better when we move to the new building. Out here, no one even comes to visit during the night shift. All you do is watch the little hand get closer to the big hand. And try to keep your eyelids in the up position. Yo, the new 
crackers like foaming at the mouth. You gotta do something. Looks like some kind of seizure. All right, Jenny, let's pop your cherry. Andrews, man the deck. Jam it open.
see anything? What the hell? What, what is, is that? that? They got mics in here. They tap them into the PA system. Somebody's trying to figure out the control console. Somebody who's not Andrews. There! He's human. You call that human? Emergency lights. You must have shut off some of the power grid. Yo, man, that don't sound right. Garson's supposed to be playing around like that. Is it Andrews? What's he doing? He's learning how to work the door. That one. We need a plan. Okay. What do you think we should do? Don't know. Just know we need a plan. The door's on the cells. They lock, right? They close, but they don't lock. You got a plan? Yeah. Follow me. Get everyone else over here. Hold shut! They went into the portal. What's he doing? I don't know, I can't see. Marku! What the hell are you doing, man? Get in here if you want to stay alive! It's coming. Please. Please. Let me in. No way, man. Don't open that door. Hurry up. I don't think those cuffs can take much more of that King Kong shit. So what do we do now, genius? It's probably eight hours or so before anyone shows up in the day shift. It doesn't make sense. I mean, he could just walked out of here. Now he's as trapped as we are. You know, something tells me that Furball was chanting in Romanian. Wasn't he? I'm gonna die this time, bow tie. Is that right, Marku? Is that thing after you? Does it matter? Hell yeah, it matters. If that thing out there wants your foreign white ass, all of our problems are solved. All we have to do is serve you up to him and wait for the cavalry to come to our rescue. We're not serving up anybody. Why is it after you? The Romanian Mafia uses a clan of gypsy shapeshifters to enforce codes and, and regulations. I have violated those codes. They have sent him to kill me. Damn! Dumb, ignorant. Everybody knows you don't mess with the mafia. Shit. I say we serve his ass up to him. Even I die. It will not help you. 
You have seen him. All of you are fucked. Fucked. What are you talking about? Once you have seen him and know his human form, he must kill you. Who the hell came up with that rule? I don't fucking care. I see his ass all day long. He still don't need to eat me. Any way out through the portal? Nah. The entire passageway is reinforced. Probably eight hours or so before the day shift shows up. What's above those tiles? Bars. We've all had a look. The ceiling just covers up more fucking bars. Waste of time. Can we say nothing up there with bars? Excuse me, the brakes. Holy shit, there's a lot of water damage in the walls. Uh, I think I can... Let me try, let me try. That's one. That's been like that all this time. I ain't noticed. <sighs> let me try, let me try. Start slapping the floor and praying to Alex. My brother, I forgive you because you're a dumbass infidel. You ain't gotta forgive me nothing, you uppity nigga. But I'm sick of your mouth, man. None of us are strong enough. My big man Leonard is. Hey, yo, Leonard, we need your help, man. No way. I stay in here, it stays out there. It's not gonna stay out there, man. Sooner or later, it's gonna come after all of us. If we stick together, maybe we have a chance. I take my chances in here. I know what to do. Leonard, you pussy ass. Don't you have it in you? Yeah, don't say it, man. He'll kill you. Maybe you don't have the balls. Is that it? You don't have the balls? Shut up, you little pussy. What? You don't have the cojones? You're a dead man, Tyrese! Come give it a try! You know more I have a bastard! Give me, the, give me the keys. You gonna tear Tyrese to pieces? Then it's a beast, but I know how to handle. But that thing out there, we don't have a prayer. Short stop. Can you make it out there? No problem. Oh.
coming from the man eating muscle. Who the hell put you in charge? That's right. Last time I checked, Rick was in charge. Yeah. Well, I'm following her. What do we do? We're gonna move away from the man eating muscle. Didn't need no meeting for that one. This one, Mike. Far away from that thing, you know. Well, let's go check this out. Dead. So now where are we? These are the old administrative offices. There's no bars up here? Reinforced steel, welded shut. You don't think they'd let us escape through the second floor, do you? So now what? You know, there's enough old crap lying around here. We might be able to cover up that hole we came through. You can't stop it. No, no, no. Muhammad's right. There's no point in leaving a big hole behind us. Muhammad here is actually a hell of a competent when he's not preaching that black Muslim crap. <laughs> Think you could seal that up? Oh, well, I could find the right stuff in these old building materials. All right. Jimmy, you go with Muhammad. The rest of you come with me. Find me as many nails as you can. Take them out of the boards if you have to. weapon or for a way out of here. You don't have to say that twice. Hey, we share what we find. If you find a way out, you let us know before you go running off. Sure, I'll share. I'll email your ass from Kansas and let you know all about it. All right. Anyone leaves the premises without my knowledge or consent will be considered an escaped felon. Let's get one thing straight. Nothing has changed. I am a deputy and you are all prisoners. You think you're some piece of work. I represent the law. I want that understood. And you represented the law in Afghanistan when you served as a soldier. Other than honorable discharge. It does not have a nice ring to it. It must have been tough trying to find a new job. What's wrong, child? You don't think the guards and the prisoners talk in a place like this? That's right. PFC lied and displayed difficulty in dealing with commanding officers and other authority figures throughout her tour of duty. Damn. Sound like the shit they used to say to me. We know all about you, Jenny Lydon. See, they didn't want to risk putting you in the big house, so they stuck you here first with all the leftovers. We've all had our moments, including you. That's why we're here. So what do we do? You tell me. Last time I checked, you were still the boss. I ain't seen nobody else bum rushing the monster. All right. Jimmy and Muhammad, stay on the patch. Leonard and Father, you're with me. Tyrese, you go with Riggs and Marku. Anything happens, we meet in the center. So, uh, Leonard's got quite a temper, doesn't he? Oh, you mean what, uh, you mean what Tyrese said to him? Yeah, I mean, sticks and stones, right? I mean, he just called him some names. Not with Leonard. He really has no balls. It happened when he was three years old. The neighbor had this mean pit bull. Leonard jumped over the fence. Pit bull grabbed little Leonard by the crotch. Leonard 
pulled away if he had him, the dog would have killed him. As he grew up, everybody knew he had no balls. He started getting in fights. He started getting bigger, 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 meaner. So, uh, Eddie said you used to be a priest. Defrocked, expelled, and excommunicated. Actually, it's kind of like your military discharge. Actually, no, no, it, it was a lot worse. Bunch of guys wearing funny hats, speaking in Latin, and really pissed off. Right. But what landed you in here? Well, after that, I started getting into the dark side, studied the black arts. Santeria, I dabbled in Satanism. Let's just say that the state and I don't quite see eye to eye on the subject of animal sacrifice. What was that? Paris, is that you? All right, spread out. Anything? Found some good shit. This will make a badass weapon. What? Brother know how to fabricate some shit. Damn it! You know, you show respect for yourself by the language you use. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. I am. But only you can choose to live a life of discipline and belief. Somehow, I don't think Nation of Islam wants me to come by and hang with them. Well, the truth is, me and the Nation parted ways a while ago. Didn't quite see eye to eye with Brother Farrakhan. But I follow the teachings of Malcolm X. There's good and bad in most everything and everyone. Like I said, the trick is to make the choice. Yeah, well, both our asses been locked up in this shithole jail. I mean, what choice we got? The choice to walk the righteous path, to turn yourself to the positive. Only choice I want to make is to get out of this jail alive. Inshallah. May Allah be willing. human cujo on your ass. Nah, man. Wires, nails. I can use this stuff. Mafia. Give me one half million dollars to buy uh, weapons. Then bosses, allegiances change, and my boss was killed. So that's why they sent this thing, to get the money back. No. First, uh, new boss, Pershing. 
He says, Lieutenant. And? I killed him. It was an accident. You killed him by accident? Yes. Most assuredly by accident. I didn't know he was coming. So, uh, I go to Vegas. Two months. It's the best of wine, women, gambling. And it was all gone. You telling me you blew through 500,000 president dollars in two months? Damn! Next time you need to call a brother to go party. Two, maybe three minutes, tops. Listen, listen up for that mumbo jumbo chanting. I, I don't think he would, uh, he would go against big group like this. He would hide and then he would shift to ambush us. Well, then we better move. Tyrese, you go tell Mohammed and Jimmy. Everybody else fan out, same hallways. Okay. Wait, 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 Riz. Isn't there supposed to be a stairway here? It's sealed up. The third floor is used for storage, but the only way up there is the old elevator. All right, uh, all right, let's go. Uh, You drop it? I'll get it. Here. Take this. You all right? What's going on? Jimmy! It's Mohammed. Let's go. How strong is it? Strong, but human. Maybe like Riggs. I do not think he will try to change floors. Space is too small. Well, then this might be our best chance. We trap in the crawl space. I'll go. I will go too. Wait, 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 wait. Guys! Is anyone coming down here? Jesus, stop this thing! Take this. Be careful. Cover the hold up, old man. See anything? I cannot see shit. But I can hear something. Ahead. If it's still human, now's our chance. See him? No. All right. Here goes.
I don't see anything! I'll keep it to boy. Maybe it was not such a good idea to begin with, huh? What? Jesus! The fucking thing's even stronger now! That is a blood. It is feeding. Growing. More power. So? What do we do? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. I guess let's go back and regroup. Hey. The fuck is all that screaming? Damn. We should have came up with some kind of special knock or something. How we know that's them? Faith. And a good ear. Who goes there? It's, it sounds like Marku. No, man. Marku and that beast are both fucking foreigners. How do you know which one you heard? He's got a point. We don't have much choice. Hell, you say we can leave. All right. Let's get these things off. Where are the others? Dead. Riggs. What happened? Jimmy was gone before we got there. Then, Riggs went down. Master was waiting for us. He had no chance. I got back up to the ceiling, but not before this. Yeah, you all messed up. Damn paper cut on your arm. And what do you do? You had your chance to go with us. Instead, you sit here and wet your pants. Enough! Riggs. Eating. Here's what I say. We go Muhammad Ali, run around the ropes, and pray that other son of a bitch get tired before us. Officer Lydon, I think maybe you're the only one that can get us out of here. Can you come up with something? Well, our only real hope is to kill it when it's human. And there's too many ways onto this floor, and once we separate, it's picking us off. There's the shaft. I don't think you want to go in there. Which leaves us with a third floor. If we can get up there and find a way onto the roof. It's only one problem. How are we gonna get up there? Well, there used to be a stairway, and there's gotta be an elevator shaft around here somewhere. All right, let's go before that bitch gets back up here. Tyrese got fired. Man, give me that before you burn yourself or waste all the juice. Hell no, I found it, bitch. Hey, put it away or it's mine. Whatever. Why are we stopping here? This here's a full set of security monitors. Usually, a set of them is used as a mirror set to the main control room. Man, no way this old crap's gonna work. Main <laughs> power's off. And correct, my Muslim friend. Security shit is always hooked up to backup power. Don't sweat it. <laughs> I'm the VCR man, free cable, free satellite TV guy. And we're not talking about stealing them. Shit, I can fix anything. When you're going out the window with the good stuff and you drop it, you gotta know how to fix it before you take it to the money man. You got one minute. <sighs> okay. This is 
big waste of time. There's nothing to see here. We should go. Jimmy! Oh, it's eating him! Oh my God! I can only punch up the first floor. Must disconnect everything up here. Hey, there's a VCR panel. What is that, a backup tape? Oh! Must be connected to the recording tapes. So you're saying we can see what's happened? Whatever the camera on the first floor saw, since someone changed the tapes. Probably changed it since this morning. Where's Marku? Mark who with Riggs? Down on himself. Why did he just drop him there? It's going to eat him. Right. And he's using Riggs' body as a sacrificial gesture. Thing around his neck. It looks like some sort of charm. Yeah! Let's go find that shit bag and feed him to the beast. I think I know where that turn of the brother motherfucker might be. I saw his ass acting all weird in this one room. Let's go. killed Riggs. We know you tried to make a deal with that thing. Tell me what you said. Tell me what you said! Got that lighter? Here's a little trick I learned from the Mujahideen. Without lighting the flame, 
You made the butane gas creep up into the victim's nose. The fumes float up through the nasal passages, into the sinus and all around the brain. And then once the gas has gone deep, fumes ignite inside the victim's head. The sinuses melt. Blood and smoke pour out the eyes. It's quite a sight. And the victim doesn't die right away. Rather, he slowly drowns, gasping for breath while blood pours down into the lungs. Leonard, hold his head. <laughs> Okay! Fuck you! Okay, stop! What did you say? I offered him a deal. I told him I still have the money. That he and I could escape and go to where the money is. You said you lost all the money. Some of it is hidden. I told him if he left you alone, let you leave. That said, we could escape. But they send a supernatural creature halfway around the globe to kill you? And you think you can make a deal with it? It'd be so freaking easy! <laughs> Why didn't you just pay him to bust you out of here? That's it, isn't it? Jesus, why didn't I see it? He didn't come here to kill you, did he? They sent him here to bust you out. That's it! Say it! Liar piece of shit! Say it! Say it! Fucking bastard! You can kill him for all I care. <coughs> what? Yes! He was! He was what? <coughs> he was sent here to free me. His name is Velku. He is from small village, my village, in the Romanian countryside. Decently related. We are cousins, many cousins apart. When we are nine, 12 maybe, the Velku disappears, the vanishes. They kidnap the child who demonstrates qualities to indoctrinate them as a shapeshifter. When I joined Mafia, he became my protector. I thought this was the 21st century. These are ancient traditions, powerful. Long before the time of Christ, or your Muhammad. So we just happened to get in the way between you and the door, is that it? Shapeshifter knows only two things. Healing and protecting. You kill me, it does not change one thing. You are all still dead. Fucking shit, bad! Wait! Wait. So why don't you two just walk hand in hand and get the fuck out of here and leave us alone? Identity must be kept secret. You are, how you say, doomed. Yes, you are doomed. What? You don't count? Of course not. He is my protector. Let's go from this floor. We gotta get out of here. Where are we going? What do we do with the shit bag?
gotta go. Let's go! Muhammad was a good man. Muhammad was a good man. Muhammad was a good man, but we gotta go now, Leonard! Muhammad never teased me. He would always say encouraging things to me. Muhammad was a good man. You can mourn Muhammad later. Right now, we gotta go! Leonard, don't. Just get in the shaft. Yo, big man! Get in the fucking shaft! Fuck this shit. This bitch is going down. Yo, fucking boogie man, I'm right here. Come to me, bitch!
the gas chamber. That's what the... Damn, man. Come on, let's go! Which way do we go? You know, you're looking kind of foxy in a dangerous kind of way. That will never happen. <laughs> we'll see about that. So what kind of lies did you come up with? Russian mafia, prison break, wild animal trapped in the old jail. I don't think they believed it. They have no choice. I told them I don't remember anything. Concussive amnesia. <laughs> Where did that come from? Come on, court TV. This place is great. So I hear you're going to the new facility when you're healed. About eight more months before my parole hearing. You know what? I'll be there. That's not what I think it is, is it? Yeah. You're not gonna really wear that, are you? <laughs> it's my new good luck charm. <laughs> Figured something must have been pulling for us. Well, you're right about that. Hey, I gotta get going. Don't get yourself into too much trouble, all right? Hey, you know I will. <laughs> I want a one-legged freak. Do the bruises. Girl, you should go to your doctor, because I think I 
I probably gave you some. Use you like a bitch, you see. I like dirty boom with track marks and stab wounds, tattoos. All them men that done had you, mad screws. Sucking dick like she had to. If fucking was illegal, I'd have a lawsuit. Doggy style. To her, that's an art form. Gotta smile. Cause my girl is so hardcore. In a while, I'm sure she'll do hard porn. But for now, I'll show her how to do my dick chores. She locked me in steel door with floor. Talk like a sailor and dress like a whore. Saw the photos, had to settle the score. Addicted to drama, her eyes I adore. Pulled her hair, checked out the derriere. Pink G string for the sordid affair. Didn't notice your name on the caller ID. I just pressed ignore and pushed her to the floor. I straight fucked it, abused it, used it like my memory, torn page itinerary. Ice cream diseases, R&B, Jesus, softcore awarded, aborted by the beast kid. Adding to the blacklist, feel the pleasure balances, resurrected premature, stabbing wound damages. Use you like a bitch, you see. Premature, resurrected, bitch! In a cut, the bound the roll something. Checking on your whole jack, bitch ain't got low jack. She's looking in cold jack, hotter than a throwback. Sliding in my Cadillac, still drinking Similac. Baby got mo back, hit it to the flow crack. Check it on my whole trap, so that you know that your hoe ain't safe if she looking my way. Dildo bruises. Wanna fuck? Let's get to it. Use you like a bitch, you see. What else would you expect? Ice cream diseases. I can't wait to give him another trial, bitches a rubber dick. I like to hit him with it. The life forms in the rear, so take it, take it. Super, super fat. It really wasn't. It was too cold also. Because I didn't want her to meet anybody. There's no need for her to know anything about my life. Because I'll never look at this chick again. Well, primarily, is it because you thought I was going to make fun of you? Well, I'd just be like, dude, what, what the fuck was that? And I was going to say, hey, dude, you know what? Available. There. Do it. You know, whatever. How'd you meet her? <laughs> say that for next time. She was One, fat, big, with two, huge cans, took three, Viagra and four, Vika, then she had a big five, head and a six, pack gut, had a seven, beer face and an eight, beer butt, it was nine, PM, ten, sheets to the wind, had 11, hits of ecstasy 12, and shots of gin, I was so fucked up on X and alcohol, but I couldn't get it up, even when she licked my balls, nothing's too fast to fuck, nothing's too fast to fuck, nothing's too fast to fuck, when you're a rap bastard, nothing's too fast to fuck. Spread, thigh stuck, together, butter up, cause we are the rap bastards. Slide over, I slide in, watch you hiding those fat rolls, steal those, donut holes, I don't know, and I don't care about nothing but what you got down there. If I come inside her against my will, I'll fill her aspirin bottle full of morning after pills, cause I don't wanna do shit but fuck, shit but fuck, shit but fuck, and I don't wanna do shit but fuck, even if she's fat. 